Pinot Noir in Burgundy. Pinot Noir has been called the heartbreak grape. Some of the finest wines can be made from it, but because the wines it produces are delicate and sensitive, many winemakers' hearts have been broken trying to achieve greatness, only to end up with simple, acidic and plain wines. To learn more about Pinot Noir in Burgundy, we're going to focus on the taste of red Burgundy and the red wines of the Côte d'Or. Let's start with the taste of red Burgundy. As the Pinot Noir grapes have such thin skins, the wines are lighter in colour, body and tannins than most other red wines. However, even though Pinot Noirs can look light and insubstantial, the best Pinot Noirs have structure, complexity, intense fruit flavours and aromas, seldom found in wines made from other grapes. This contradiction, famously described as being like an iron fist in a velvet glove, is what makes Pinot Noir so special. This is best expressed in Burgundy, and particularly in the Côte d'Or. Young red Burgundy can almost smell sweet, with typical aromas of raspberries, cherries and a hint of mushrooms. When they get older, the best Pinot Noirs develop a silky smooth texture, the fruit flavours deepen, and the wines take on a savoury, almost meaty character. Along with aromas of leather, mushrooms and earth. Next, let's take a look at the red wines of the Côte d'Or. Just like in the last lesson, we'll start right at the bottom of the Côte de Beaune and make our way north into the Côte de Nuit focusing on the important villages of the Côte d'Or. There are many areas in the Côte de Beaune that produce Pinot Noir, some of which are excellent, but the first well-known and important area is around the village of Volnay, just south of Beaune. Volnay produces the lightest reds in the Côte de Beaune. They are soft, delicate and perfumed, with a very pale red colour, these elegant Pinot Noirs generally taste of cherry, spice and herbs. Just north of Volnay is the village of Pommar. Pommar is a great example of how the wines of Burgundy can change even though the vineyards are so close together. The clay soils in Pommar produce wines that are bigger bodied and more tannic. So, if tasting the wines of Volnay is like listening to gentle classical music, Pommar is more like hearing loud classic rock. The only red Grand Cru vineyards in the Côte de Beaune are in the appellation of Corton, named after the hill on which the vineyards are planted. The wines made in Corton are famous for their density, richness, and ability to age for many, many years. The big tannic Pinot Noirs found here are generally described as tasting of violets, red berries and earth. If we travel north out of the Côte de Beaune and into the Côte de Nuit, we enter serious red wine country. In fact, when it comes to the Pinot Noir universe, the Côte de Nuit is at its centre. Compared with the red wines of Volnay and Beaune, the wines in the Côte de Nuit are deeper coloured, longer living, and show the richness and intensity of Pinot Noir best of all. Starting from the south, the first major area is Nuit Saint-Georges, named as usual in Burgundy after the village the vineyards surround. While there are no Grand Cru vineyards here, the excellent Premier Cru vineyards make wines with aromas of black currants, cherries, and earthy mushrooms. The next village north is Von Romani, around which there is a large concentration of Grand Cru vineyards. The most famous vineyards of Red Burgundy 
such as Romane Conti, La Tache, Le Richbourg, and Grand Echezeau, are here. They grow Pinot Noir grapes in clay-rich soils, producing wines that are opulent and very complex. With a characteristic array of exotic spices such as nutmeg and cloves. Just north is the village of Chambon Musigny. The wines made around this village, including a number of Grand Cru's, are some of the most complex Pinot Noirs you can find. When they are young, they are muscular, weighty, and tough to drink. But as they age, they reveal huge depth of flavor and complexity, fanning out over the drinker's tongue like a peacock's tail feather. The commune of Moray Saint Denis also has a number of Grand Cru vineyards, and while it is sometimes forgotten amongst its more famous neighbors, its Pinot Noirs are well structured and elegant. Finally, at the northern end of the Côte de Nuit, we reach Gevray Chambertin. This large area has much land that is excellent for growing Pinot Noir. Also, depending on where the vineyards are located, the style of Pinot Noir can vary across the commune. However, it is at its best in the Grand Cru vineyards, where it is known for being very intense, concentrated and elegant. In this lesson, we learnt about the taste of red burgundy and the red wines of the Côte d'Or. Congratulations on learning more about red burgundies. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about how to better serve wines from Burgundy to your guests.